Hello YouTube and welcome to another PowerShell tutorial. So in this video I'm going deep into files and folders using PowerShell. So are you ready? Let's get started. So here as you can see I'm using VS Code in order to type the PowerShell commands but you can also use the traditional command prompt for PowerShell in Windows so you can use this one here will you find it in windows when you type powershell in your uh, search bar okay but here i'm using uh, vs code because it's simple and with the extension so i'll show you where you can download this ex extension so you go here to this button here for extensions and you install it's pretty insel pretty simple you install this uh, powershell extension for VS Code from Microsoft okay so let's go back into our uh, VS Code editor so here I just created a simple file as you can see here example.ps1 in order to type all the commands okay so let's get started with the files commands and here of course at the bottom you can see the terminal which shows us the output of each command so the first command that I'm going to show you is called new item so this command here actually will help us to create a file simple file so the first parameter or argument is a path so you have to provide the path where you want the file to be created so here I'm using a dot which means I want to create the file in this same directory and here as you can see I am on my desktop or in the desktop folder so the file will be created in the desktop folder okay so that here means just simple the current directory then you need another parameter which is name so name is simply the name of the file you want to create so here I'll create a file for example file1.txt as an example here okay and you can add also another parameter item type so here you specify if you want to create a file or folder or a registry key for example you can also do it with PowerShell so here I will just stick with simple file because I want just to create a simple file okay so this is the basic command that you can use in order to create a simple file and if you want to put some input inside this file you add another parameter value here we go and inside quotes you actually put whatever you want so you can put for example hello world simple as that okay so let's run our command here so you can use ctrl f5 or you just hit enter if you are using the terminal but here in the vs code there is here run button that you click on it and you get the output directly in the terminal here for vs code so here you can see that a file has been created so the length it 12 meg, uh, bytes so the name is file onetxt as you can see here okay so with the simple command we have created a simple text file okay so now let's say that we want actually to overwrite the text that is inside this text file so here as you can see we have created a file but the content of the file is hello world so we can verify that if we open our desktop folder and let's go to file one here we go it's on the bottom so as you can see the content of this file is simply hello world okay so let me actually override the content of this file so in order to override the content of the file we use another command a powershell command which name is set content. 
ok so set content so we have also to provide the path to the file we want to change the content ok so here I am on the same directory where the file resides so here I have just to provide the file name which in this case file1.txt ok and finally we can add another parameter value and here we have to actually enter the text that we want to replace the original one so remember the original one was hello world so now we can change it with another text so for example how are you how are you simple as that okay so let's run our command and verify that here we go so our command has been created so let's go to our desktop and verify that the content of this file1.txt is actually now not hello world but how are you so let's open it and you can see the content has been actually overwrite the original one okay but let's say this time we want to add some content to this file okay so how we can do that so in order to do that simply instead of set you replace it but by add so add content this, this uh, time we provide the path as you can see here okay and now we'll be adding some text to the original one so the original one was how are you so let's just add for example I'm fine okay let's run our command here we go I have no error so let's go back to our folder desktop and let's open our file one and here you can see it has added a line I am fine so remember these commands are pretty actually interesting if you want to add some content to your files using the PowerShell commands okay and here I forget to tell you something we can also use aliases so instead of uh, writing this whole command add content we can just simply use AC which is the alias for add content okay so let's run this one but uh, I'm fun let's add something like thank you for example here we go let's add it and let's verify that here we go and you can see a line has been added so you can always use instead of add content which is many characters you can just use these two characters which are aliases okay now so we have this file one.txt that contains now three lines let's say that we want to clear the content of file so in order to clear the content of the file so as you can see here with the PowerShell it's pretty straightforward so the commands actually are verbs and nouns so it's very intuitive so if you want to clear the content of a file you have just to simple type clear content as easy as that of course we have to provide the path to the file that we want to change the content of so in my case that file1.txt okay so it's simple as that so let's run our command here we go I have no error so let's open our uh, desktop file file1 and now as you can see the file1.txt is simply empty okay and another thing that actually uh, I forget to tell you also if you want to create a file so as I told you you use the command new item 
okay and of course here you have to provide the path to the destination folder that you want to create your file so let's create this time file 2.txt and item type is uh, just a file and the value also is hello world okay you can also add another parameters confirm so with this parameter here you will get a message you want to confirm that creation of the file so let's execute that and see what happens now so you can see here on my terminal I have here a confirmation message we have to answer with yes or no so the default is yes you have just to enter here or just type Y if you want here we go so now file 2 has been created so you can use this confirm parameter with many commands in PowerShell okay here we go now let's move on so we have created file 1.txt and file 2.txt okay so let's say this time we want to change the property of a file so you want to make it for example read only how we can do that so simple there is another command set property okay here we go so you can see here with this uh, powershell command you can set the property of a file so of course you have also to provide the path to the file so i will just use here file file2.txt and also you have for the name parameter you have to provide here the property for example if you want to make it read only so is read only read only okay and the value you have to make it true this time okay so with this uh, command here as you can see you change the property of the file for read only because read only is set to true and of course as always you can add parameter confirm if you want to confirm the action or not so let's execute this command here here we go so we have this message of confirmation so let me answer just yes and now let's uh, for example if you want to display the content of, of folder we've seen that on the previous video you have to use the command set or get child item here we go and I want just to filter the text files so I'll use here the filter text so in order to display only the text files so let's run it And here you can see the file 1 is simply an archive but the file 2 as you can see here in the mod there is an R so R here means it's read-only file so with the previous command we have successfully changed the property of the file 2.txt to read-only using the command set property so as I have actually shown you and finally if you want to delete a file so as I told you PowerShell is pretty intuitive so if you want to remove actually a file so the command is remove item here we go and also you have to provide of course the path so let's say that I want to remove here uh, file1.txt for example here we go and of course with the delete 
you have always to make sure to put confirmation in order not to delete some important files okay so let's execute our command here so of course we have here the confirmation message so I'll just hit yes here we go so let me use the command uh, get child item to see if I still have uh, file one or not so I want just to filter by text files or file something dot txt in order just to get rid of the f other files so here you can see I have only a file that starts with a file so remember previously we have two now we have only one okay so as you can see all the commands in PowerShell are pretty intuitive so it's just a verb and a noun clear delete remove remove and you get your job done so that was just a brief introduction or simple introduction how to use or to work with files and uh, folders using uh, PowerShell as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye